My name is Matthew Sprague. I'm a senior engineer on the front-end infrastructure team here at Flexport. Flexport's mission is to make global trade easier. When people think about global trade, they're thinking about planes, trains, automobiles, and ships. And that's certainly a large part of it, but there's actually a very important role for someone that orchestrates all those services to work together. To get a cargo from China to the US, there's sometimes up to 20 people touching that. And so Flexport manages all those interactions to make sure they go smoothly. You know, at any point, things can go wrong. Goods can be lost. Containers can fall off a boat. You can have weather delays. We are able to ingest data for all of our vessels. It's about 10,000 ships and about 150,000 flights. Uh, and we were able to determine ahead of time what flights and ships are going to be affected and, and also which customers we have that are going to be affected. Recently, there was a, a giant typhoon that hit Hong Kong. And Hong Kong is one of the major uh, origin points for, for many shipping routes that we do. We had a number of customers who would be affected by shipments arriving late. And we go ahead and notify those customers about the changes to the delivery schedule. Our bread and butter is getting goods where they need to be, you know, whether that's for commercial purposes, but also whether it's for you know, disaster relief. There's a lot of people trying to give aid and trying to deliver goods to all these places, but it's hard to do. You, know, you need the whole supply chain organized to actually deliver the relief. We coordinated with relief and aid agencies, and we provide freight forwarding services for free to figure out how to get supplies to these uh, disaster-stricken places. As we get tracking data for these ships, uh, we put it in an AWS uh, RDS cluster. But additionally, you know, we're pulling information in from you know, multiple other services, uh, you know, weather tracking, boat tracking, plane tracking, and all of this comes into our data warehouse, which is running in AWS Redshift. When those data updates come in, we really can't afford to be down or can't afford to be slow. It's pretty great that we can just kick off that responsibility to AWS.